Florence is one of the most beautiful cities with the most beautiful light. The light is always moving since nine o'clock in the morning until the night. Sun is always the best light. You have this bright sunny morning and then it starts to dim down into this dusky soft light. And we're really, really interested in light from several different angles and perspectives and what it does to people. That we're facing west into the city, so you get this lovely golden light at the end of the day. This is a beautiful house. It's on the hills above Florence. You can see the Duomo from the gardens. You have whole of medieval Italy mapped out psychologically in front of you. I love Florence. It's one of the more beautiful towns in the world. For an architect especially, it's an amazing place. So it's very inspirational. It's even too much. We came with a completely blank canvas, then got very quickly into just being inspired by the surroundings. That white page, blank canvas, blank space can be intimidating to any creative person. The potential of what I could do in this couple of rooms here was exciting. I'd get locked in on a palette and then just let it go. We're really curious looking at the context and then trying to create something. And the fun thing is that we never know where it takes us. Dans mon process musical, premièrement, je m'allonge sur mon canapé et je réfléchis. Je vais au piano, je ferme les yeux et en fait je joue du piano comme un enfant. Je tape n'importe où des notes qui expriment totalement la pensée que j'ai eue sur mon canapé. If I have to say what inspires me the most is female body. Female body for me is the perfect architecture. It represents so many things. The mother, the creator. Also, it's a self-portrait. The nude becomes the abstract form that you use, like a canvas that you can put your palette on. You sculpt it with light depending on how you move it. The light defines it. It's like a three-dimensional sculpture. I'm really inspired by other artists a visual artist, a painter, or photographer. And very often there is a text or a book behind every project. I'm really fascinated by the way that lyrics and music work together. I think about that quite a lot when I'm trying to make the words of my work. The question of how you take poetry off the page, how you put poetry in the streets. There's a relationship to tradition of poetic graffiti. At the moment, there's a lot of inspiration coming from observation of people, how someone reacts in a certain situation. Il y a une idée qui m'obsède depuis toujours, c'est l'idée de renaître. C'est pour ça que j'ai voulu faire un œuf qui représente la prison génétique dont on veut tous s'extirper. For this movie we are making, it's 3D, but a very bad 3D because it's made by our eyes. The two camera has two eyes, so it looks like a, a strange mutant. <laughs> the light piece in the end will be like three meters high and three meters wide. It's like a really light structure, just made from like thin ash wood. I think we'll probably find a position in the garden of the main house, looking over this cityscape. Our process takes six to eight months, so it was quite interesting to compress that down. It was quite nice because you kind of have a deadline every five minutes. I 
think when you're absorbed in something and you're being creative, there is no sense of time and space. It was almost like being in this weird time capsule where time is suspended. Au travail, j'avais l'impression d'avoir le temps, et c'est vrai que plus l'heure de la présentation s'est approchée, plus j'ai été tendu, plus je me suis rendu compte qu'il y avait beaucoup de choses à finir. It challenges you to just go for decisions very early on and do it. Working with other artists for me is a beautiful thing. Because if there is one feeling that I really cannot understand in human beings, that is envy. The more I'm surrounded by artists and the more I see beautiful works, I like to say bravo, I like to clap because they give me energy. Just knowing that there is other artists working beside my room, it's, it's really exciting because while we are working here, we can go and watch not just what they are doing, but how. And I'm really curious about the people here, how they use time, space. Just interacting with some of the other artists here has been good and take a break from what I'm doing, look at what they're doing. There was quite a lot of empathy between some of the artists and, and connections in what they're making. I feel like I'm leaving with more energy than I came with. Everyone seemed very happy to be exporting their creativity and their process. It's important sometimes to get into that group spirit. The collaboration with all the artists has been really inspiring. The way we all manage to fuse together without like, egos or anything, just pure communication, it's rare. It just keeps life so much more interesting if you're exposed to other people's opinions. 